After seven days of hyperfixation, too many movies, and probably developing early onset arthritis, allow me to introduce... For this tutorial, you'll need a sport weight size 2 yarn. I use 268 grams of mine. This isn't sponsored, but I use this yarn from Hobby. I like it for beach wear because it's very lightweight and breathable. You'll also need a 3mm hook, a 4.5mm hook, scissors, a darning needle, and measuring tape. Here are the measurements you'll need to make this top. When you're taking your measurement A, measure from your side, not over your bust, and measure from the height of your underbust to your armpit. For measurement B, just multiply your measurement A by 2. To get your measurement C, you'll have to find your bust size first. So lay down, then wrap your measuring tape around you tightly. This number will be your bust size. Then divide that by 2 to get your measurement C. Lastly, divide your measurement C by 2 to get measurement D. In case that was confusing, here's an example I made using my own measurements. First, I took a measuring tape and measured the side of my body from my underbust to my armpit, and that was 5 inches. And then I took that number and multiplied it by 2 to get measurement B of 10 inches. Then I laid down and wrapped my measuring tape around my bust tightly to get 29 inches, then I divided that by 2, and I got 14.5 inches for measurement C. Lastly, I divided my measurement C of 14.5 inches by 2, and I got about 7 inches for measurement D. Keep in mind that these measurements are estimates, so always try on your work as you go to make sure it fits properly. I drew up some alternate styles that you can try. So for the first one, if you're maybe a beginner and you don't want to take on as large of a commitment as making a dress, you can stop halfway and just make a shirt. For the second, you can go the whole mermaid route and do a mermaid style dress. So just make it a bit longer and you'll flare it at the ends. And third is what I was originally going for, but I don't think my wrist could take doing so many more stitches. For this style, you'll increase more at the beginning so you can get that very poofy, flared out look. And I think this will look really cute with the petticoat underneath. These are the stitches and abbreviations you'll need to know. Now, let's get into it. Then you're going to go into the second chain from your hook. So the very first chain that we had made, you're going to go into that leftmost loop. Only that one. And yarn over, pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two. Then you're going to go into the leftmost loop again from the um, stitch that we just created. So you'll go into it, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you'll repeat this till your core gets to your desired length. Once you finish your cord, chain up one, then cut a modestly long tail because this will help us weave the cord into our bodice once we get to that part. So now we're starting on the back panel. Make a slip knot and then chain two. We're gonna do a single crochet chainless foundation. So go into the first chain that we made and you'll go into the front and the back loop this time. So that first one on the left and the one behind it. Pull up a loop and then we'll yarn over 
and pull through one. This creates our chain and then yarn over and pull through two. That's our single crochet. So then we'll go into the chain we just created. So on that leftmost loop and the one behind it and yarn over pull up a loop. Yarn over pull through one to create another chain. Yarn over pull through two to create the single crochet. Now we're going to repeat this until you reach your measurement A. Once you reach your measurement A, make sure you have an odd number of stitches, then chain up four. Turn your work. We're going to skip the very first stitch because one of our chains will count as a single crochet. So skip the very first stitch and then the one after that and go into the third stitch and single crochet. Then chain up three, skip one stitch in the next single crochet. And we're going to repeat this pattern until you get to the end of the row. For your second row, you'll chain up four, turn your work, and into the first space, place a single crochet. Now chain up three, and in the next space, put a single crochet. Now we're just going to repeat this pattern until you have enough rows to stretch and meet measurement C. We're going to... Now that my back panel is long work. enough, we're going to start doing the bra cups. So you and can chain up one and turn your work. You're going crochet. to put a single crochet so increase into every stitch. Just make sure crochet. that it remains and, uh, in multiples of six. So add or take out some if you need to. single crochet is done. I have 42 stitches so I'll turn my work and in the very first stitch I'm going to single crochet and then we're going to skip two stitches yarn over and in the third we're going to double crochet, so that's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I'll repeat it um, slowly again. So in that same stitch that we just went into, we'll double crochet again, so yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we'll do three more double crochets into the same stitch. So there's a total of five double crochets in one stitch. And then we'll skip the next two stitches. And in the third, we'll go into it and single crochet. And then yarn over, skip two stitches. In the third, go in, double crochet. And we're gonna put five double crochets into the same stitch. So there's three four and five and now skip two stitches in the third single crochet yarn over skip two stitches in the third five double crochets and repeat this until you get to the end of the row the end of the row we're going to chain up three and this will count as one stitch so we're going to do a half shell to keep our edges straight so in this same first stitch we're going to put two double crochets so now we have our chain plus two double crochets so we're going to skip 
two stitches on the shelf on the previous row and in the third single crochet and then we'll skip the last two double crochet stitches from the previous row and in the third this single crochet here we'll do a five double crochets And now we're just going to repeat this, so skip two in the third, we'll single crochet, and then we'll skip two again, and in the third we'll do the five double crochets. And continue doing this until you get to the end of the row, and you'll do this until you reach um, your desired length to cover your chest. Once you get to the end of the row, we will skip two and in this last stitch, we will do three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. And then we'll chain, we'll turn our work. And in this very first stitch here, we will put a single crochet. And then we will skip two and in this next single crochet stitch we will do our shell so there's one two three four five and then we will skip two single crochet skip two and then do the shell and we'll repeat this you're going to take a slightly larger repeat hook. rows two and three until you reach measurement D and turn your work once you reach your desired and length we're going to pull up a loop in every stitch so in this first one we'll go in pull up a loop in this next one go in the stitch pull up a loop and we're going to do this in every stitch down the row And once you have all the loops on the hook, we're going to take the cord that we had made in the beginning and we're going to loop it through slowly, make sure we don't drop any. And once you do all the loops, we can come back and we're going to cut this yarn. So before you cut anything, you should scrunch the cup up and wrap the top around you to make sure it fits uh, kind of how you want it to. Because if you want to add or take out rows, it's easier to do it now while the yarn is still attached. So I'm just going to put my hook in and pull up. I'm going to place my hook into another stitch, pull up a loop, and then chain one, and then leave a bit of a tail for us to weave in later, and cut. And then we'll hold the circle and pull it through to tighten so it's secure. Now we have the first side of the breast done. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So um, you're going to start exactly as you did here. Do the single crochets and then do the shell pattern. And I'll come back once I'm done with that. 
So now I finished my second bra cup. We're going to grab one end of the cord and pull it through so that it forms this U shape. Your cord should form the U shape on the side where your working yarn is. This will become the bottom side of the bodice where we will attach the skirt. Now you'll just grab one end of the cord and pull it through just like how we did on the other side. I somehow lost the clip of this, but once you finish pulling the cord through, you'll go back to your working yarn and single crochet all along the bottom side of your bodice. Now swap to your 4.5 millimeter hook. Once you finish your row of single crochets, count them and make sure they're in multiples of 7 plus 2 more stitches at the end. Once you single crochet to the end, we're going to turn our work, then in the very first stitch, single crochet, and then we're going to chain one, skip one stitch, and in the next, put a single crochet, and we're going to put a single crochet in the next five stitches, so there's two, three, four, and five and then we're going to chain two skip two and single crochet into the next five stitches three four five and then you're going to repeat this so after you do five single crochets, you chain two and then skip two and single crochet five times and repeat this until you get to the end. When you get to the end, chain up one, skip one stitch and single crochet in the last stitch to end your row. We'll always end our row how we started. Now chain up two and turn your work and then we're going to double crochet into this chain right here. So I'm going to go into the chain space. You can go into the chain, so like here, or you can go into the space. I'm going to go into the space and double crochet. And then we're going to chain one we're going to skip this next um, stitch, skip the next stitch, and the one after that, single crochet, and we're doing three single crochets, one in each stitch. So there's three, and then we chain up one, skip this next stitch, and then the one after that, in this chain two space, we're going to double crochet into the space, chain one, and then double crochet again into the same space. And now we will chain one, skip this next stitch, and the one after that, we'll do our three single crochets. And then we chain up one, 
and we're going to repeat this until the end. So we come back to this chain two space and we'll do our double crochet, chain up one and another double crochet, chain up one, and then we'll do our three single crochets. I lost my recording for this part, which is why I'm using a different color. I'm going to show you how to end row two. We always end our row how we start it. So here I have the three single crochets. So I'll chain up one and then I'll move to this chain one space that's hiding here. Go into the space, double crochet. And then in the very last stitch, place a double crochet. Now chain up two, turn your work. This chain two will count as a double crochet. So in that same very first stitch here, place two more double crochets and this will be a half shell and it'll keep our edges straight and even. And then we'll chain up one, skip three stitches, one, two, three. And in this fourth one, we'll single crochet, chain up one, skip three stitches, one, two, three. And in this chain two space, put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Chain up one, skip three stitches. One, two, three. Now in this next stitch, we place a single crochet. Then you chain up one, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and in this chain two space, five double crochets. At this point, you're just gonna repeat this pattern until you reach the end of the row and then meet me back when you're at the end. Now I'm at the end of the row, so I'll chain up one, and then we'll place a double crochet into the very last stitch. Then place two more double crochets into that same stitch to make a half shell at the end. And then we'll chain up one and turn our work. And we're gonna put a double crochet and a single crochet into each of these stitches. So in this very first stitch, single crochet. And then the next one, single crochet. And then the final one, single crochet. And then we chain up two and then in these next stitches we're going to skip the chain and in the next double crochet stitch we're going to single crochet in each one so there's two three four and five and we'll chain up two go to the next shell and then single crochet, one, two, 
three, four, five. Then we'll chain up two and repeat this until we get to the very end. At the end of the row, you'll do your chain two and three single crochets, just like we did at the beginning. Then we will turn our work and we'll put in the very first stitch, we'll put a single crochet and in the next stitch, another single crochet. And then we'll chain up one and we'll go to the chain two space and put a double crochet, chain up one, double crochet. Then we chain up one in this space, we'll skip one and then put one, two, three single crochets, then we chain up one in the next space, put a double crochet, chain up one, double crochet. And we're just going to repeat this until the very end. So in the next part, it'll be the three single crochets. And now I'm going to end the row by chaining one, and then we're going to skip one and put two single crochets just like we did at the beginning. And then we'll turn our work and in the very first stitch we'll single crochet again and then we chain one and then we go into the space between the two double crochets and put five and this is going to be just like how we did last time so we'll put five double crochets Then we chain one and skip to where the three double crochets are. And right in the middle, we'll put one single crochet, then chain one, go to the space between the double crochets, and we'll put five double crochets. And we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row. When you get to the end of the row, you just chain one, then you go to the last stitch and single crochet. And now you'll just repeat the six rows that we've done until it's long enough to reach your waist. All right, so I've, this is long enough to reach my waist now. And I did increase a bit at the end and I'll show you how to do that soon. But when it's at this length, you can either stop here or, and have like a cute little shirt, or you can continue on to finish making the dress. So, let's continue on and you want to end at the point where you just did the five double crochet shells and in the next row you're going to start doing the um single crochets on top of the shells so we're going to connect these parts and this part you connecting it is optional if you like you can leave this part split but i'm going to connect it so we're just going to chain one and slip stitch Oops. 
And now we're going to chain up or now we're going to do the single crochets. So I'm just gonna go directly into this stitch and single crochet. And we single crochet on top of each stitch. And then we will do our chain up two. And then we go next. And I'll also show you how to increase now. So to increase, we're just adding additional shells. And to do that, when we get to how the single crochet is here between the shells, we're going to chain up two and we're going to go into the single crochet and we're going to put five single crochets into this one stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll chain up two and continue on. So, oops. And when I get to the next single crochet, I'm not going to go into this. I'm going to chain up two and then skip over it and go into the next. Unless you want to have a really steep like increase on your dress, you're not going to increase like at every single crochet. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to like, do one, two, so I did one, two, increase, one, two, and increase, one, two, and then increase. And you can repeat this pattern of increasing or you can mix it up if you like. Just do whatever will fit your body best. So always remember to try on your uh, dress periodically to make sure if it's how you want it to. As you can see, I've made it to the end. So now I'm gonna chain two and we're going to put two single crochets into the next stitches. So there's one and two. And we're just gonna continue on as normal. We're gonna work in rounds. So I do suggest you put a stitch marker into this first single crochet after our chain two, because that's our first stitch after connecting. And this will just help keep track when you get to farther along. So after we chain two, it's gonna be the same thing as before. So we'll yarn over and We'll chain up one and do our double crochet into the space, chain one and double crochet. Then we chain one and do the three single crochets. When you get to the part where you increase, you're just going to do the same thing. We're not going to increase any more. We only we only increase on that first single crochet row that we just finished. After that, um, it's we're done with the increases. So you see here, I have an increase. 
so I have the five single crochets so here in this chain two space between it I'm going to double crochet chain one and double crochet and then we chain one and here we have the five and we go skip the first single crochet go into the second and it's going to be the same thing we did before so three single crochets chain one and then the next chain two space right after that double crochet chain one double crochet and we're just going to continue on doing this whenever you get to the part where we had put the five extra uh, single crochets it's the same as everything else now i'm at the end of the row so i'll chain up one and go into the stitch where my stitch marker is and single crochet move the stitch marker to the new stitch and then we continue on like we've been doing before so now we'll do the five shells in here so chain up one and we go here and then do the five shells one two three four five chain up one then go to the three single crochets and place a single crochet into the middle one chain up one again and then we'll do our five double crochet shell into the chain one space and we're just going to repeat this until the end of the row and you'll repeat the six rows just like we did in the beginning now I'm at the end of the row so we finished this like um, these three rows to make the shell pattern so when we do this next row of the five single crochets um chain two five single crochets chain two don't increase don't do the increase like we did previously i recommend so we increased on this cluster of shells but we won't increase on this next cluster of shells and i'll put like a little infographic to make this clearer but on this next row, I'm just going to, I'm not going to put five double crochets in any of the increases, five double crochets in any of the single crochets. I'm just going to do it normally, only in the actual shells. Here's the chart for increasing. I have it color coded by the round. So whenever there's a new color, that means it's a new round just for clarity's sake and in the middle you'll see five purple crochets that's to show where you increase so above a single crochet from the previous row you will put five single crochets into that one stitch and that'll form an increase because you don't normally put stitches there for this pattern so whenever you need to increase that's what you'll do now I'll look to the left side in each of those brackets there's three rows so for three rows there will be no increase but in the three rows after that you can increase in the and in the next three rows no increase but when you are in a row where you can increase you can do the five single crochets wherever you want it doesn't have to follow a pattern or anything so if you look at my purple single crochets again I could put 
another five single crochets in any of the single crochet stitches from the previous row to increase. So now you're just going to repeat this process increasing wherever you like when you can and make sure you try on your dress often to make sure that it's, it fits properly and you can look around to see where you want to add increases while you're trying it on. But I'm going to come back in a minute and we're going to do some last touch ups after I finish my skirt. I'm at the end of my final row. You'll want to make sure you end on a row with the five double crochet shell. Then you'll chain up two. Go to the first stitch of the next shell and you'll just slip stitch into it. Then chain up one and cut your yarn. Now we're going to connect our yarn at the start here of the bra part and we're going to single crochet um, down and around this um, open part in the dress. So go to the top of one side and reattach your yarn. Then chain up one and now you'll just slip stitch down and around wherever you can fit your hook until you reach the other end. Once you get to the end, chain up one and cut your yarn. Now we'll move on to the straps. Once you finish your skirt, reattach your yarn at the top of your bodice. Then you can chain up one and single crochet all along the top. When you get to the back panel where the mesh is, make sure you place enough single crochets so that it still stretches properly when you put on your dress. When you get to the end of your single crochet row, chain up one and then single crochet into the very first stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch as well. Then chain up two, skip two, then single crochet into the fifth stitch and the sixth stitch. Now just repeat this pattern of chaining two, skip two, and single crochet two until you reach the end. The purpose of these chain spaces is so that you can loop the cord through them to make shoulder straps. I designed it this way so that having shoulder straps can be optional because I know when you have a larger chest you need a bit more support than just the wrap around your neck. So when you do it like this you don't even notice that the chain spaces are there but you can still use them if you need it. So now I've gotten to the end, and then you'll just, um, after you do the last stitch, you chain up one, cut your yarn. Now weave in all the ends on your dress, and you're done. 